right, welcome back to Sports Fans Only with Sean Mack, little SFO Gaming, back playing a little uh, Fight Night Champion. We're going to do a little Jamel, no, Jamal Charlo against Canelo Alvarez. I love both of the brothers, the Charlo brothers. I have to say probably Jamal might be my favorite. I like both of them. Let's go to New York. Going to fight against a little Canelo, even though Canelo done moved up to like 170. I think he light heavyweight now, but... I think if he take that belt from Bivol, he will come back down. I don't think he definitely can't go back up and be a... He can't be a heavyweight. But we'll see how it goes. This fight is long overdue. I don't think it ever happened. Because I'm trying to see if Canelo actually wins against Bivol, then he got to fight better Vidas, maybe. But then would he go back down if he clear out that division, like the light heavyweight in the uh, heavy... Heavy uh, middle, I mean the uh, middleweight. I don't know. I'm not sure. We'll see. But this is going to be a good one. Definitely going to be some fireworks. Not expecting it to go over maybe seven rounds. I'm going to go maybe six rounds. So I'm a little hype here. Let's get it going. Welcome back, my peeps. It's been a while. Been putting out some other stuff with C. Anthony in the studio now. Got a little. Um, Studio set, virtual set, looks good. Make sure y'all get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all like to see, what I'm doing wrong, what I'm doing right, all that good stuff. Even if you just want to say hi, just make sure you dip in. It helps out with the algorithm, and it helps the channel. So we're trying to grow. We got some stuff in the works from uh, Harry Bridge and my main man, KJ. They're working on a little project. Hopefully, it'll be out within the next weekend. We'll see. It's a little surprise. Got some good people on there starting to get more notoriety, people with notoriety on the channel. So just a little sneak peek, a little what's going to happen. But we're growing and we appreciate it. Canelo coming out with the fat cheeks. <clears throat> Playing that little singer. What is it called? Senorita. No, that's a pretty woman. I forget. It's not Machata. It's the other one. All right, let's get to it, Jamal. It's Nello. Let's go. All right, this is going to be tough, so I haven't played in a while. All right, I didn't really realize that Jamal Charlo was so much, uh, oh, he's so much bigger than Canelo, taller than Canelo. It's like a two-inch difference right there. Work that jab. He's a big boy. I know Nello gonna try to chop me down as always. Lace his face. Come out with that jab. Yes. Good working of the jab. Good workage. Lace his face. I didn't realize how much uh, reach he had on him. But I gotta watch out. My last fight. I was doing well, and he took me out. I forget who it was. Wait, who was I fighting? I was fighting, um, let me think who it was. Give me one moment. Oh, it was Hatton against Kodo, and I was Kodo, and I was doing well. I stunned him, and I didn't get like a days of cool. I didn't like play around. I was just doing me, and he caught me, and that was it. Let me get out here. I don't want him to be in the inside. Even though I know I can do damage with Charlo with him on the inside, I don't want to start off there. He's really chopping. He's cornering off this ring. His footwork is excellent. Got to make sure I get that body, too. I can't forget about the body. But I want to try to control him with that jab. Jabs and straights. That was pretty quick by Nello. That was good left. Let me stand my ground a little bit more because he get the feeling that he think he can just walk up in here. So we can fight on the inside if you want to, big boy. Hmm. That's a good left by Canelo. Get off them ropes, Charlo. Get off them ropes. Get off them ropes. Get off them ropes. 
Kona tell him it's all right. It's not all right. He lace in my face. Oh, he hurt me. Oh, bounce up. Bounce up. Get back. Get back. Oh, he hurt me. Hurt me early. Come on now. Got to get more movement in there. You know, very stationary. Got to get more movement. He's chopping the big man down. Hey, let's go. Sorry for being a little quiet, but once I got stunned, it like bring brings the attention out of me. Perk my ears up, make me go, wait a minute. What am I doing wrong? But that happens when I haven't played in a while. I could be a little lackadaisical, get caught with a few things. Now the one thing is that I hope once I get caught that it doesn't like ruin me. Or hurt me too bad. But usually I get back on my P's and Q's once I'm um stunned a little bit. If I'm not totally hurt, but sometimes you go and you see that your um, your damage is extremely high and you're like, wait a minute, what can I do to fix that? And sometimes you can't do nothing but try to box smart and survive, you know? All right, I'm about to, I'm about to change it up a little bit. When he come in, like right there, I'm going to, I'm going to bite down and throw that uppercut. There we go. Oh, he digging, digging into that body. I have to say right now, Canelo's doing some great inside fight and he's closing that gap that I'm trying to not let it get closed, but he's closing it, body shots, good lefts, hooks. All right, definitely can't be whiffing. That whiffing to get you. Takes your energy and sometimes you get caught throwing that extra stupid punch. He'll be trading some blows in there for sure. Oh, good laugh. It's over. Oh, that was a good left, left hook and a left uppercut. That was tight. He threw it with precision, too. Is that it? Stop it, Pippi. Shh. Oh, I didn't think I would hurt him. Wow. Wow, I'm just not realizing what happened. I know what happened, but I was a little in shock right there. Wow. All right, so he stunned me, and I came back and knocked him down. I told you it was going to be some fireworks in this fight. Come on now. I am still have to say I'm boxing well, but I'm still indecisive if I want to box from the outside or the inside. I know once Canelo try to come in the inside, I got to make sure I bite down and let him know he just can't do what he want to do out there. You know what, I'm, know what I mean? But to get to that spot, it's like on the outside, that in between, I don't know what to do. My arms are longer. I am the bigger man. I already got this round, so there's no reason to over overplay my hand and throw extra punches and that. Try to set up some nice combinations here, that's all. And that body work starting to hurt him. I can see it. I wonder if I damaged him. If I really hurt him, hurt him. See how much damage he have after this round. Yeah, he was he's, he was definitely doing some great inside work, but I getting a little better feel. Oh yeah, good round, good round by Charlo. I damaged him. Yeah, he got a little damage, but not much, not enough to make him be dazed or anything like that. All right, round three. Let's see. It's usually when I turn up the pressure, but I already have the knockdown, so I'm gonna fight smart here, judicious with the punches. Let's see if I can catch him. Try to work that body. Get off me. Don't hold me. Let me circle to his left. See if I can get off some rights or some left uppercuts. He 
He's managed to stay right on the end of my punches where I'm just missing him. What's crazy is I got the longer reach and he's able to connect with that straight right a couple times. Get off me. Now you got to go to that body more often when you want to. It's like going high then low. I'm going to go high, knock them out. Go low then high. Whiffing. Oh, good laugh right on the back of the temple. That le that right uppercut, uppercuts in general is giving him the business. I think he's getting a little confused, a little frustrated, don't really know what to do. Oh, see how I'm making him bend over with them body shots? It's hurting him, y'all. Definitely hurting him. Oh, that was my see threw that lazy right for no reason. Tay Troop, I just threw it to throw it. I didn't even have no intentions on what to do with it. It was just a punch. And that's what happened to you. All right. Come on. Make him whiff a little bit here. Yeah. Make him whiff here. Oh, both of us thinking the same combination. Let's go. Let's turn up the pressure. I know this sounds crazy, but I'm about to try to walk down Canelo, but if any man could do it, it would be Cherry Lil. Lil Cherry Lil. Oh, watch it. Ooh, that was, that was a strong punch. Ooh, good laugh. Yeah, he's boxing well now. He's tightening up his defenses, being more judicious with his punches. Make him walk right into the left watch. Come on. It's good round, good round. All right, all right. Let's go, let's go. Boxing well, doing well. I'm up two. Two rounds to one. Even though I think that I think that round I knocked him out the second could have been a 10-8, but whatever. Ooh, sneaky right. Wow. It was sneaky. Look. A little chop in half type of uh, uppercut. That was that was good. I don't know if he's gonna get up from that one. Mmm. Charlo gave him big wax. <clears throat> Let's see. That was a good one, though, I have to say. He's getting up for more. He's a glutton for punishment. Oh, I knocked him back out. Oh, that should be it. Is he going to get back up? Oh, did him dirty. Look at him talking about Greg Maddox and sinker balls, Teddy Atlas. Even when that game was out, I think it was up. Oh, I knocked him out. I finished him. Charlo put him in the dirt. Put him in the dirt. And it's over. Jamal Cholo. Yeah, it's my southern boys. I think they're from Louisiana. I'm not sure. I think so. Put him in the dirt. That was a good one, y'all. That was a good one. He's strong. I tell you, I fought with Jamal a couple times. Jamal, he's... He's a beast. Well, I did get that 10-8 round. All right, all right. All right, cool, cool. So, as always, y'all, that was fun. I might play another one. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to. I'll catch y'all next time. It's been Sean Mack for F SFO. <laughs> that was funny. It's been Sean Mack for AJ <laughs> It's been Sean Mack for SFO Gaming. Playing a little Fight Night Champion. Peace. Holla at me, y'all.